Okay, so I'm going to be doing my lesson plan presentation. My state standard is partition circles and rectangles into two, three, and four equal shares. Describe the shares using the word halves, thirds, fourths, half of, a third of, a fourth of, and describe the whole as two halves, three thirds, four fourths. Recognize that equal shares of identical holes need not have the same shape. So my I can statements where I can divide shapes into equal pieces of two, three, and four, and I can explain those pieces using words like halves, thirds, and fourths. Learning objectives. Students can describe the whole shape as two halves, three thirds, four fourths. Students can identify shapes, divide circles and rectangles into halves, thirds, and fourths. Students can describe the pieces of the shapes using the words halves, thirds, fourths, half of, a third of, and a fourth of. So my learning supports for this, the general ones were word wall, that, those would already be there. Anchor charts we would make um, while pre-teaching the vocabulary and then filling it out as we go. And um, just shape posters throughout the classroom like in a kindergarten class. Targeted supports the function is to explain the discourse and to support the discourse the teacher would pre-teach vocabulary and apply prior knowledge to the lesson to help students understand it better individual supports the teacher will write vocabulary words on index cards with the word and definition in english on one side and the native language on the other this could help students who are english language learners so for my assessments um I had a little bit of everything, informal, formative, observation, and just class discussion. Um, I find that students learn a lot from class discussion, so I definitely wanted to incorporate that. Um, formal, formative, dry erase board activity, and the fraction sorting worksheet they do in small groups. And then the summative assessment I didn't really include into my lesson plan, but like obviously at the end of the whole unit you would have a test. So the key language task was to think, pair, share, and just the discussion time um, for the worksheet and um, just talking before the worksheet to get students to understand the material. And I also included a photo of my fraction worksheet. The higher order questions I chose were can anyone tell me what it means to divide something? What types of things would we divide? Why would we ever need to divide something? Um, why is it important for us to understand how to divide things? Um, I chose those four as like the beginning of my lesson and then the last three. Where do we see divisions in our everyday lives? What's another word we could use to describe dividing something? Can you think of other ways to represent fractions? Those would be more towards the end whenever you are um, summarizing the lesson and checking for understanding. My opening, the if you click on this link right here, it'll go to the video um, that I chose. The hook, again, would be those questions. The objectives, the teacher would go over the objectives and ICANN statements before um, starting the class discussion. Instructional procedures. The teacher will teach students the vocabulary using pictures. Uh, draw different shapes on the board to make sure students know and can differentiate between shapes and the students will raise their hand to answer. Um, the teacher will show the shapes to the students that are divided into two, three, four pieces, and the students will raise their hand to explain the given shapes as two halves, three thirds, and four fourths. The teacher will call out shapes with a certain number of divisions and check for understanding, and the student will draw a line through the shapes to divide them into equal parts of two, three, and four on dry erase boards, and then the teacher will call them to the board to show the class. Something that I did in my lesson plan that I didn't include into here was that in steps one through four, the teacher would have like a clipboard and with names and she could just make tally marks for people that maybe weren't understanding so that 
while students were doing the worksheet, the teacher could call back students to work with who are struggling so she could work with them individually. Um, and in step five, the teacher does that. The students work in groups, small groups, to complete the worksheet by cutting and pasting the divided shapes into the column that corresponds with the fraction. The closing, the teacher will ask those questions that I had mentioned earlier um, as like a class discussion or call on people maybe to check for understanding the ones that were struggling. And the teacher would hand out the exit ticket with three questions, one for halves, one for thirds, and one for fourths, just to make sure all the students understand every part of the lesson. Management. Obviously, for an elementary class, there will already be rules in place um, to keep the students quiet and engaged. Uh, for transitions, um, students already know to come to the carpet, or will in my classroom, and then before or after the video before going back to their seats there will be like a when i say go you will go quietly and safely to your seat and then give a reward to the one who does it best um strategies for gaining attention i like the um one two three eyes on me or hocus pocus time to focus especially around halloween they always love that Motivating engagement. Watching the video helps students, or most students, because um, kids nowadays love technology. Um, allowing students to draw on their dry erase boards um, is so enjoyable, enjoyable for them. They love it. Um, working with partners can easily get them off track, but if they're paired strategically according to their educational needs, they can help each other to stay engaged. Materials, the YouTube video, I also have it linked there as well. Um, a computer, uh, the smart board to, um, for students to come up and draw. Dry erase boards, dry erase marker to obviously write on the dry erase boards and the worksheet. Technology, a computer, um, the computer imp improves student learning by showing students what they're going to learn about and pro provides them with knowledge before the lesson. For English language learners, if needed, the teacher can put the tasks into a program that can help students translate better for understanding. Um, I use PowerPoint and Procreate and Canva to create um, the slides I would show on the board. And then um, Microsoft Word, Procreate to design the worksheet and exit ticket. I use Canva to make this presentation. Um, I didn't use technology to collect data during the lesson. I used a clipboard um, just because it's a little bit handier, it's a little bit easier, and I will use technology to put in grades after the lesson and take notes on who struggled. The theory, rationale, um, the teacher modeling first is one of Vygotsky's theories, and there's um, the zone of proximal development. The students making real world connections um, is Piaget. The think pair share method allows students co to communicate with one another and work through issues. Piaget's constructivism and Vygotsky's social cultural theory.